One of the great things that we've discovered this year, we've been given this mycelium product that we uh, was for actually for human digestion. And uh, we weren't quite sure uh, what part it played in the whole process. I had been looking for some mycelium for a while. Um, knowing that it's avail making the phosphorus availability was really, really important. And what happened was that uh, we got given the sample and a good friend of mine, John Godwin, was trying it out on himself and he was tipping the uh, leftovers from the brewing process on his pot plants and they started growing like mad. Well, I thought, well, maybe this is the mycelium we're looking for. The interesting thing was that I got some and I started brewing it up and I thought, well, if there's any way of getting this around the farm quickly and cheaply, it would be through the animals because they would take it through and leave a uh, nutrient source and food source for the for the mycelium if they were to grow. Now, but one of the great things that actually happened, and I, I would, I'm absolutely staggered by the results on this, is that as soon as we started putting this mycelium product in the trough, all the calves dried up immediately. Now it's very hard to get um, good good um, nutrition going in the calves after they've been weaned and these guys are doing exceptionally well. You can see by the colour and how clean they are. Um, I'll just show you a bit here. You know these guys are just magnificent as far as their colour and they're really growing for it now and, and I'm so pleased. I mean this is late April. Um, once again these animals have never been drenched, inoculated with anything and uh, yeah they're showing great signs of good health. The thing about this mycelium product and what we're trying to work out was going on is that what I believe's happened is that we've actually stumbled across a, a product that will, will make the yttrium available. Now if you read Minerals for the Genetic Code from uh, Richard Olry, he talks extensively about the function of yttrium being the stop codon. Now that's a, a, an incredibly important process in the sense that when each protein or each DNA is made in the gut before it's sent through the gut lining it is completed by yttrium. Now the yttrium doesn't follow the um, DNA protein construction through the gut wall, it stays back in the gut. Now the trials done by a chap in Israel showed that animals that were fed uh, put intravenously yttrium into the gut, they had a three times longer lifespan than the control animals and they only used 25% of the trace elements. Now if this is right, just think about the possibilities for animals because all the food that's going into them, if they can't utilize that properly, the gut makes these proteins, makes the DNA construction, gets it all set to go through the gut wall, can't finish it off, it gets put in the rubbish bin. And when it goes in the rubbish bin, all that energy, food source, everything's been wasted. So if we've got this product right, and um, I'm not quite sure how we can test it physically to see whether it's actually doing it, maybe we can send it off to the lab, but pretty much from what I can see and the testing we've done to date, it looks like that's the case. And um, I believe that by the time it gets around the farm, um, it should be coming up through the soil and it should be making more nutrients available, the DNA construction should be better in the plants, and uh, we should have healthier animals again. We shouldn't have to keep putting this in the trough. I think it's one of the greatest breakthroughs we've had. But one thing I do understand with this mycelium, and along with a lot of the fungal uh, hyphae species that we need in our soils, they cannot handle toxins or poisons. Anything like um, sprays in the autumn for facial eczema, they will completely clean these guys out. And we can't have that, we've got to have them in the soil functioning for us. So we've got to get our soils right, got to get them cleaned up before we can use these products. But my God, what a breakthrough. It's been a, um, an amazing step forward, another great thing in animal health, and uh, it's a very low cost, it's just other things need to be put in order first.